Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and today I would like to show you a plugin that can greatly help you improve your workflow when building levels, building worlds or just building games in general. The plugin is called Prefabricator and that's exactly what it does. It adds support of prefabs into Unreal Engine, which means that you can create prefabs for your game and place them somewhere in your level. Alright, I'm an empty project in Unreal Engine and I have imported some assets that I can test it with. I have it already enabled right here, but if you don't know how, you can click into plugins, installed and find here prefabricate and enable it and we will have to restart the project of course so now let's see what it does i can simply put here a few of these assets so let's say that i want to have here this table blah 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 something around that they look more like a shield than a table now that i'm looking at it but let's ignore that fact and put it somewhere here all right let's say that this is our first prefab that's what i want to have here so now what you have to do is to select all these assets and click on your prefab setup and, cl and click on create prefab from selection which will put all these together into one prefab file and it saves it into folder that you had just opened so let's just delete that i don't want it anymore because right now i can take it right from my content browser so let's put it here several times and i think that you already know why this is such a great thing just imagine that you create prefabs for buildings, some random, prefabs, uh, some random prefabs for building. I will show you in a while how you can do that. And then you can just place them and create a whole village in just a few minutes or maybe hours. But you get the point. All right, that looks pretty cool. But now I just figured out that I messed it up. I, I don't like to use this prefab. And you can just change it like you would do with a blueprint. You can see that this is like some weird stuff that you can ignore for now. But what you can do, of course, is to change it. Let me pull up this details panel. And quickly before that, if you look in your world outliner, you can see it created here something like folders where you can still select each of these assets. So let's do exactly that. Let's say that I don't want this thing here. I want to move it here and I actually want it to be candle. I don't know why I put here pot. So let's put here candle. But now you can see it changed only one preset, which is usually cool if you want to just alternate a bit of that look, but you could have just added it right here, right? right. But let's say that I want to change all of these. So let's just click on that prefab, make sure you have it selected. And now if you click on your right setting and save prefab to assets, it should change all of them. So let's do that. And look at that. It's all changed and all these presets are presets, prefabs, not important are changed. So now if I add here another one, it's again with candle. And and for this one, I want to change it back to candlestick. Well, it never was candlestick, but now I want it to be a candlestick. All right, but now let's say that I want to use some procedure generation and randomly change them. I want to each player to have a bit different experience. So let's delete all of these and show you how you can use this plugin for exactly that. So first of all, let's create here a new prefab and I will want to start with this thing and add some candles on it. All right, that's my first preset. So let's select all of them and turn it into preset. Oh, prefabricator, create prefab, blah, 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 that's cool. But now I want something different. So let's still work with this one. And what I want to do now is to unlink it. So now it's no more preset, but I can still have here this saved preset. But these set of assets that I have in the map are not linked anymore. So I want to add here something else. I want to add here this thing. I want to put here some coffin. All right, that's getting a little bit weird, but let's ignore that. And now again, let's select everything. And with everything selected, let's turn it into another prefab. And, and I have here prefab number two. And now let's do it one more time. I want to have here three different prefabs. So let's unlink it. Uh, delete this thing, blah, 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 and let's put here a lot of these, what is it, pots. All right, that's another one. Again, prefabricator, create prefab, and here it is. So now I have here three different prefabs. Let's put them in here so we can see them. That by itself looks pretty cool, but what I want is actually have only one asset that will switch between these randomly. So what I can do is, let's go folder back, so I have some room to operate in, right? Uh, so here, let's right click and we have here new prefabricator. So let's click on prefab collection and call it collection test. Let's open that thing and you can set here custom thumbnail or whatever you want. I will just click here plus button on these prefabs and add here my wonderful prefabs. So if I go back in props, I have here prefab one, another plus button, prefab two, another one, prefab 
3. We have here weight and all of them are set to 1. That means that it's absolutely equal probability that each of them will spawn. But if we want to change it, that let's say we want this one to be spawned most likely. Let's set this one to 10, which means this one is 10 times as likely to be spawned as other ones. But I only want it, let's say, 2 times, so I will switch it to 5 and 5. Or you can set it to 2 and 1 and 1. It depends. <laughs> it's up to you. The weight is always the same. By the way, I would almost forget in Prefabricator, make sure that you look into user guide, click in here, and it will get you to pretty well done documentary that you can read and learn everything that I forgot to mention. All right, let's put here our collection test and put it in the game. All right, and you can see that I have here already one of them. And if I click on randomize, it will change it. Pretty cool stuff. And of course, if I put here more of them, Control C, Control V, you can see that I have here a randomly generated few of them. These two are the same, but hey, let's ignore that. We have this one, it's probably the one with the highest weight, so you can expect it will be there more times. Let's select all of them and randomize them. So it's changing as you need. Just imagine how you can use this in open in some open world or something like that. All right, that's about it. If you want to learn more about the plugin, you can of course read the documentation, which I would definitely recommend. And if you are interested in stuff that I'm doing, mostly in VR, you can watch my Instagram somewhere here, somewhere here. And huge thank you to everyone on Patreon who supports me there because you are a huge help and it would be very hard to do this without you. So hey, that's about it. Sarfancy out.